Hey folks, it's Ridgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. So most, actually, th th there could very well be a lot of digging to do on the final level, so that I can then go and put dirt all the way over it, which will then be able to cover over with uh, crops, uh, grass will grow over it, where we put our cows down, that sort of thing. You know, we got several options. Right, there will be several options. If we do want to dig down for anything and make it a little bit deeper anywhere, then we can, and we can just like add in another layer of dirt wherever we feel that we need to. We won't necessarily be putting that across the whole thing. Put you over here. I'm going to dig all the way around the edge of this bit now. I'm not doing that side yet. I'm just doing this side. Let's not get too carried away. I've got a lot more digging to do yet. Fortunately, we have our diamond pickaxe. I really want to get an efficiency three now. Right, we, I mean, the diamonds are limited. We still only get one diamond per day, remember? So I can't, like, get too carried away with the diamonds, but they're there to be used. Right, if we've got them, they are there to be used. I mean, I'd like to make a full set of armor. I can't remember how many I will need for a full set of armor. We can go and work that out in a minute. Um, well, there's nine in a block, isn't there? You need four for boots. Then a helmet is five, so that makes nine. Then the trousers are a loop that goes all the way up over. So that's seven. That makes 16. And then the final actual body of armor itself is eight. So there's 24. We need 24 diamonds to make ourselves a full set of armor. And if we want to get any enchantments on that, obviously that's going to be extras. But I'm not too concerned about uh, enchantments on it. Just put... Oops, I'll put those down there like that. Right, and just line these up neat and tidy. And then we can run back over here just to get the last little bit out. We haven't got much left. We can finish this. We absolutely can finish this. I just, I, I kind of really just want to get this... Um, at least get the dirt bit done on this layer. Um, well, no, we'll, we'll work through. We're going we're gonna to finish this completely, and then we've got an area that we can get our cattle. I don't know how big an area we're going to have. Like, I kind of figure, like, the bigger the better, really. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm, I'm not quite sure at the moment. Um, you can make bales of hay or bales of straw using the corn that you get. And you, like, you combine a few of them together. Now, I know that horses use those. But I don't know if there are any use for cows or if it's simply just like a decorative item. I think it's just a decorative item as far as cows are concerned. So I don't think there's any real benefit to us having them. I'm going to bring this one out over to here. This is where the level is going to be. I mean, because I'll eventually want to clear all of that as well. Now, bees. I've had people telling me how to go about using the bees. You need to lure them back and... Um, then use flowers to get them to breed together. And if bees fly across your crops, they, um, they make them grow faster. So if you've got a load of bees around your crops, they grow faster. Um, you need to put a campfire underneath the beehive in order to take honey out of it to, uh, to stop them attacking you. That's why you put a campfire under it. Uh, but... Not entirely sure how I go about building a new hive somewhere. There, there, well, I'm sure there's a way to do that as well. I, I, I'm not quite sure what it is. Cut all this out over here. But yeah, you can see right underneath us, we're going to have a lot of stone that we're going to dig out so that we can go and put a load of this dirt back in. I mean, if we have got a big area of dirt here, there's going to be a... This, this area is huge. I'm sort of thinking I'd like to level it out across there as well but if i'm going to do that i don't really want to be digging in underneath uh, like filling it all in underneath tempting though it is i kind of like do also want to fill it all in underneath but probably the best way to do it is just to put a load of torches under there and then seal it up just build a wall and seal it up with some torches that that probably be the safest way for us to do it um well the least time-consuming way to do it. Just have big hollows everywhere that are lit up. And then we've also got, like, if we want to come along later and we need areas underneath that require hollow space, we've already got a load of areas that have already been dug out, which makes life easier for us. 
over there and get you out as well. All right, I can finish this bit out here and then I'm going to go and get a bit of shut eye and then we'll come back out again and we should be able to have one last push tomorrow and that will finish this bit and we can put a fence around it and we can get our cows out this side and that will all be done. Yeah, we got that bit there. Uh, yeah, I reckon if we get the cows out here, then we need another project to work on. I need I need to start working on something different uh, rather than just doing these bits close to... Well, there is the villager hall. That's going to involve... I need to get villagers back here in order to be able to do it. The other thing that we want to do is we want to go... Well, we, we've kind of gone to the... We've, we've seen some of the stuff in the nether. There is a load more stuff that you can do in the nether. Um, but yeah, I'm not, like, all that concerned about spending loads of time in the nether. It's a dangerous place. Uh, it's, it's village... I want villagers here and to be able to use them. There's a slime farm that I want to build. It's going to be over there somewhere. We need a mob spawner. We, like, that's, that's definitely on the to-do list. And I want to be able to have... Let's go and get some sleep. Um, yeah, we, we want to go to the end. Uh, that's that's going to be another thing that we're going to want. we got two ender pearls at the moment, which isn't going to be good enough to get us to the end. So we're going to need more ender pearls, which means hunting down and fighting more endermans. Alright, I am back on a brand new recording session. Just looking down here at all of the wall that we did. So I've got some ideas i've i've been thinking about a, a couple of things there's, well the, the, there's one thing in particular that i've been thinking about you know i said about putting the great book of names up here somewhere and having everybody's name on a sign and i've been giving this some careful thought and about how i want to do it and how it's going to appear and basically what we're going to do is we're going to level the top of this mountain it's going to be a bit of work involved, but it's not going to have to all be done at once. I got a whole load of signs, and those are ready to use. But the signs, we're not going to just go and plonk them down in the snow, in, in the ground, just as they are. I'm going to build a room up here, and I'm going to turn it into a library. And I was going to, originally I was thinking like one sign per name... But at the moment, we got like 250 names in a book, and that's growing steadily. So I don't know if one name per sign would work. It might be better to do a couple of names. I, I don't really know. But what I was thinking is to build a library across here, fill in this whole area right the way across. We dig off the top a little bit. We can't dig it off too much because of where we've got our torches. There's the top torch right there. Now, I will end up changing the top of this. And so that torch will be removed and then we'll put something else down there. But what I was thinking is putting a platform all the way across there. And it'll come out from here and it'll go in a straight line across there. And we'll do that out of timber. But I was kind of thinking that we do that out of logs. And then we do a platform over the top of it. So i got to decide what logs, what timber, that sort of stuff that we go and use to make this work. And I've got some ideas of how we can make this work. I know for a fact that I can get down here because I've done it already. Um, yeah, I've got some ideas of what we can use and, and the logs and the timber that we can use to make this entire thing work and work well. Oops. I didn't actually mean to drop that far, but I still survived, and that's the important thing. Everybody is still here. Right, I'm not going to make any more cows just at the moment. We need to... So I've, I've, I've got, like, a couple of things that we need to go and do then, haven't we? we? We need to finish doing the cattle pen and get that one going, and then we're going to start working on the piece at the top. And it's going to be a library. That's what I want. I really love the idea of a library. So... At the moment, we'll do a load of bookcases up there, and then each bookcase will get a sign on it. And the only thing that I'm not 100% certain of is how many names I will do on each sign in order to make it work. But that's an easy thing to sort of deal with. 
This is a minor detail that we can look at a little bit later. So I've got a load of birch planks here. And I was thinking potentially the floor would be birch planks. And then, I mean, I like the oak. I like having um, oak. So we could do oak logs as like the main beams in underneath it. Because that could look quite good. Uh, the jungle trees those look good as well but i was wondering about the absolute contrast of using dark oak if we were to go and get some of those we well i mean we got spruce over there and spruce is you know a little bit darker than what we've got at the moment i think i've got some right there's some spruce logs so we we have got like a couple here that we could do a bit of work with let me just jump down into this outside chest a minute and i'll pop down a bit of the dirt in here. I don't want to get rid of all of it. I will... That's all I can get rid of now. I've, I've got no space anywhere for anything. Uh, we really need to sort out our storage systems. We really need to do some work on the storage. More than anything else, we need to sort out our storage. Because this is an absolute mess. This really is an absolute mess, isn't it? Right, there's 64 bits of stone. Uh, I'll drop those in there and that stone in there. And, well, there's nothing else that I can do anything with at the moment. I'll put that in there. So there's a little bit more space for me. i got lots of sticks here. I'm not going to worry about those. I was making signs. Um, right, so we've got all of this stuff. We've, we've got all of these things. We'll do a quick sort of look down here. And, like, so I was thinking... Uh, oak logs. We got the yeah. The, see, the dark oak is just a shade lighter than uh, darker than that as well. So I was sort of thinking that might be the best one. Now it'll go upright like that, or you can bring it out that side like that. So you've you've got sort of two different directions that you can move it. Um, we'll harvest that one a minute, pick it up, and then that one can drop down there. So that can sort of be the underside of it, and then you have. In absolute contrast to that, you've got these really light-coloured planks right here with the birch on it. And I think that could be, make a nice floor colouring. Um, and then we can just start building stuff inside. And I really like the idea of huge glass panels on the front of the library as well. So that's kind of like the appearance that I was aiming for with the library that I want to build. But I do just need to go and get some dark oak and then we can go and plant a few of those here so that we've got them for harvesting later. So I think actually the cows will be the... We'll, we'll, we'll finish doing the cows first. We'll, we'll sort the cows out first and get them moved. Right. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to leave that stuff and I'm going to head round the front. My chickens in here are doing okay, but to be honest, they're not doing great. So I either need to come up with a different murdery murder machine right here and find another way of slaughtering our chickens, uh, or I need to make it substantially bigger with several more chickens inside it. But that starts to eat into the entity count. I think there is an entity count. I don't know if the chickens like affect that or not. Um... So it'll be sort of, yeah, at the moment I, I don't know quite what I want to do about the chickens. I mean, yes, having more chickens would be nice. That, that would be good. It would sort of help make the things flow a little bit easier. Now, I'm just going to drop the birch, all of the timber in there for a minute, along with the rest of the signs and those sticks in that jungle wood. Uh, why have I got an iron pickaxe on me? I was doing some other stuff, wasn't I? Don't need to be worrying about that at the moment. Let's just put that one down. We've got you in reserve. We've got you in reserve. We've got a bit of coal in reserve. We've got a load of these and we've got that in reserve. Okay, that's fine. We, we, we got reserved stuff. we got lots of stuff and it's reserved. So if I wander back over here, we've got a bit of mining to go and do with our diamond pickaxe right here. And we're going to hack our way through the rest of this stone and then the idea will be that we're going to fill in the floor after we've done this um with all earth i mean i've got to dig down another layer yet and we'll fill in with all earth and then that, that that's all going to be done that that'll be everything finished 
and we can start bringing the cows out here. We can build a, a new pen for them and we can have a whole load of cows out here. And it should make things fairly simple. Um, I don't know if I can just like put a ladder on the side. So I'm, I'm hoping what I can do is I can put a ladder on the side of the pen and then I can have the cattle like so it's easier to get in and out it's better and also for feeding them as well it's it's easier for feeding them um but yeah that's, that's like a, a minor detail we, we don't really need to worry about that just yet and take well there is actually a huge amount of stone right here just take out that bit there and then over the back this side all of this i mean once this is done it's going to be another job finished and another bit done and then we've got room for our cattle and we should also have room for additional farms as well we're gonna want a special area for the sheep and a special area for the cattle uh, i don't just want the sheep being left permanently wandering around where they are so we may move the sheep over here that might end up being a better thing for us uh shovels we go and start removing the dirt here. So this is the last layer of dirt that I'm going to have to remove. The only thing that we've got to do after this is fill in any area that has stone on the next layer down. I mean, we can also do a little bit of filling in of dirt around the edges here and just kind of square this off a little bit if we can. I don't know how much squaring off I'll do. If I do a lot of squaring off sort of under the ground, I will have to make sure that I put down a boatload of torches everywhere. I mean, I put torches down everywhere anyway. That's just part of the course for me. Uh, it's just so that we don't end up with anything nasty spawning. I, I don't want anything spawning inside the base. There is nothing worse, as far as I'm concerned, than an unwanted creeper. Right? It is probably the worst thing you can have is an unwelcome creeper turning up and crashing the party. All right, it's a terrible bore. You don't want them doing it, and they, they just end up causing trouble. It's the same with any unwanted guest, really. Like, they, they know that they're not wanted, and so they get a bit belligerent about it. And start to just generally cause trouble for everybody around just because they know they're not welcome there and they don't like the fact that other people are welcome there but then the other people are a little bit more polite they don't go out of their way to try and destroy everything that you own and that's what the creepers do and that's why they're not welcome um if they would just work on that if they would just work on these minor character flaws then we wouldn't have such a problem with them right we'd be a lot happier with them coming around we'd be a lot happier with them spending a bit of time with us if they weren't so difficult about everything anything and everything that they do like they're, they're just generally they seem to be out to be unpleasant that's, that's what they seem to want to do is just to act in an unpleasant manner right i'm going to drop down into this bit right here and we're going to hack our way into the middle there. And I'm going to start taking off this double layer of stone all the way round. And this won't take very long now, I don't think. Um, we will eventually do a whole load more than this. There's the bit across the other side of the little track that we've already built. We're going to want to go and get that one right across here. Uh, there, there's the edge of the track. So if I dig to the edge of the track, but I don't actually dig the track itself, we'll have a clearly delineated line all the way through. Right, there's a little bit more earth that we want to dig off. I thought we'd already gotten it all. Take that off down through there, and then come back over through here. Right. And, yeah, so we'll eventually get that bit off as well over there. That's not going to take a lot of doing, really. There's, there's not a lot of work involved with removing that bit. We will soon be able to clear that in no time at all. Right, that's all of that bit. And now we've just got the glorious task of clearing every single bit of stone in the middle of this. And it's a big patch, which means that the stone could take a minute or two as well. 
my list of things that I want is growing. It's ever expanding. We want a mob spawner. We want to keep going with this. We want to go up onto the top of our mountain and we want to build an entire library up there so that I can do a sign for every single one of the people in the Great Book of Names. And I am seriously considering doing that with... Uh, hang on, where do we want to go? Uh, I'm seriously considering doing that and having it so that I've got one sign per person. It does mean that we're going to have to have an awfully big library, though. But I kind of like that idea. I kind of like taking the time and the effort to go and make a, a a bookshelf for every single person that has supported my channel. And I, I feel that this is sort of a, a nice acknowledgement. And it, it sort of, it, it seems appropriate rather than cramming as many people as possible together. Um, I won't have, I know that I, I know that this is not a new thing, right? This is this is definitely not a new thing. It's it's not a thing that has never been done before. It's not a unique thing to go and put signs up for people who support the channel and stuff like that on Minecraft. It's widely done. It's been done right across the board by a lot of different people. So it's 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 absolutely. I'm not claiming to be doing anything new or fresh or different with this. It is a standard procedure that has been carried out by countless people who have youtube channels so i'm absolutely not trying to claim that i've got a new idea a fresh idea here i'm absolutely not trying to do that um i'm just picking up on a tried and tested technique that works and works well and keeps people involved in a series. So that's that's what I'm going to be doing here. Um, with mine, with the, the library thing, I think that's like a, a slightly unique take on it. And I did kind of do something similar with this before in my last Minecraft series. Uh, only I would like do a name at the beginning of every... Um, video. I won't be doing a name at the beginning of every video. When I go into a new recording session, if I've got new people, if I've got new names in a book, then we'll add them up. Uh, we'll, we'll add them in first. But um, to start with, I'm, I've got a whole load of existing names. So we'll add those in first and I'll do like 10, 15 names. We'll work our way through so that each person gets on screen time and gets recognized for the support that's already been given and we'll work our way through names and then eventually get to like new names coming up later on in the book so that's that's generally the plan that i've got with it in order to do that though i'm going to need to grow a lot of sugar cane so that we can make books and i'm going to need to have a lot of cows for the leather for making the books the wood for making the bookshelves is just a really simple process that's that's not something that we need to overly concern ourselves with but the the sugar cane the cows we need to have somewhere to be growing all of these so this is for the cows that we're doing right here this is going to ensure that we've got somewhere for our cattle and then we're going to need somewhere for our sugar cane that's not just that bit that we've got at the moment and eventually, I would like to have a place for all of the fields that we've got over there. Now, I got those fields at the moment, and they're good. I like the look of them. I've been told that crops grow better if you do them in rows, and um, you you break the rows up. You don't just have all the same crop in a big patch. If you do a row of one and a row of another, and you just you mix them up like that. Despite the fact that that might make the crops grow better, I'm still not going to do it. I'm going to stick with individual crops like I've got at the moment um, because it's just going to be easier to keep track of and easier to replant and so on. But what I'd ultimately like is a greenhouse for each one. I like making the greenhouses. I think they look nice and it's it's quite rewarding. It also makes it very, very easy to both plant and harvest all of the crops once you've got your greenhouse built. And so there's reason two for wanting to do that. Reason three, whatever. Um, it looks good. It's easy to plant. It's easy to harvest. There's three reasons. Um, and it's, it's fun. I, I like making them. So I'm 
I'll start off by doing a sugarcane one, and then we'll see about doing some for the other crops that we've got as well. But uh, the sugarcane one has definitely got to be our main priority because we want to grow lots and lots of sugarcane. So if I have a greenhouse for it, it's, it's not something that is not like a game mechanic for those of you who are a bit unfamiliar with Minecraft. Um, it's not a game mechanic thing. It doesn't make them grow any faster. It's just somewhere where I've got to. It's just a building that I make. Um, in order to have somewhere to put my sugar cane. And I like the look of it. I think it looks good. And yeah, that's about it, really. I, that's, that's, that's my argument for it, is I like it. Um, but it's definitely not a game mechanic that makes anything go faster or grow faster or anything like that. Um, let me just finish bringing this line up through here like that. If I... I've completely run out of space. Let me go and dump this lot off because what I'd like to do is keep all of the stone. I do want to keep all the building materials we're pulling out at the moment. We may not necessarily keep all of it in the future, but at, right now, um, keeping it is... Okay, I've got dirt in... I, I want to have stone in one and dirt in the other, so I'll swap these over a minute. Except that I'm not going to get rid of all of the dirt that I'm... Actually, I will at the moment. Let's, 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 well, let's get rid of most of it. And then I got a few extras, which I'll drop in here. So there's some string, um, the spider thing, and so on. Right, that's looking good. Let's get back to work. We've got a little bit more still to go. We've, I mean, look, we've got potatoes all the way through here now. We've got pumpkins, watermelons, wheat down the end. Right now, I'm not really using any of it. Um, I've got meat as well. We we are using the wheat a little bit, but we're not generally using the crops. So you don't need to have massive areas producing loads and loads of the crops because you just don't end up using them. There are a number of different trades that you can do with villagers eventually um, in order to get things from them. And I have got plans for trading with villagers. The thing about the trading with the villagers is that you get, not only do you get sort of stuff coming back from them, you can trade in and you can get your emeralds. And I kind of just want to have a wealth pile. And this this is something that I, I like the look. It, it looks a bit tacky, it, uh, admittedly. It, it doesn't look to be the the, um, the the most amazing thing when, when you're looking at it. But a wealth pile, I, 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 I don't know, it, it just sort of... It's the sort of thing that we can plonk down in the corner without putting a huge amount of effort into it. And at the same time, it does indicate a reasonable amount of effort that has gone into creating it. And I, so it takes nine emeralds to make one emerald block. And you've got to trade quite a bit with the villagers in order to be able to earn the emeralds in the first place. There are some trades you can do that will earn you quite a bit quite quickly. And if we can build ourselves a trading hall with the villagers, then yes, we will be doing something like that. And then we can start earning up a whole load of emeralds so that we can make some emerald blocks. And if we can make some emerald blocks, then we can start building an emerald tower or an emerald building or something. Something to do with them, where we just got mountains of emeralds. Now, I know how I used to be able to make a gold farm. And it was basically just make very, very large... Um... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. If you have time, do please consider checking out the links in the description down below. There is one for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers, including but not limited to Minecraft and Farming Simulator. And there is also Fanatical, who sell vast quantities of computer games at very reasonable prices. There is also a discount code in the description alongside the link. If you've enjoyed this video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.